Manchester United are held at Wolves, nil-nil, while failing to register a single shot on target. That is one of those weaselly, sneaky stats mm-hmm. because, of course, Marcus Rasher did hit the crossbar, so technically not yeah. on target, but a good chance, blah, blah, blah. Still, not good. So, Robbo, are you going to join Robin Van Persie in piling on poor old Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, or are you just going to blame Pogba like everybody else? Well, I won't join the bandwagon with Robin Van Persie to saying that his body language, the social's body language, was too nice and he was smiling after a game. There's nothing wrong with that. But I would certainly say that I'm not happy with the way Manchester United are playing and the well, way that Oni Gunnar Solskjaer has set his team up but at let's times. Right, let's stick with Solskjaer a little bit because, we, you know, baby-faced assassin, yeah. like, he's all... He got a little spiky towards Van Persie. He said, like, yeah. Van Persie well, he doesn't have the right to criticise him as a manager. Which is obviously nonsense. Yeah, everybody's the right to criticize you when know, you're a manager. Um, but did you like him showing some edge? I think so. Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think he's he's been nice all the way through. I'm not sure he's been nice with all the players. I'm sure there's a, a hard side you to it. You can't him. just be nice all the time right, to the outside, no, no. unless you're Carlo Ancelotti. No. Which I mean, he, can, he, yeah, he, he he puts a smile on his face most of the time. I think you can see when he's upset when they've lost a game. But Robin van Persie, I think, was wrong in saying that. He was too smiley when they when they didn't play particularly well. I think he was just being pleasant to the reporter. So I wouldn't go along with Robin Van Persie on that. But in terms of the way Oli Gunnar Solskjaer has worked with the side, he's not got it right. They still only can play counter-attacking football because the players that he has in the front areas are all pacey, but without that little bit of guile in and around the box, which he's not sorted out so far. Even if he brings on Wan Matter or plays with Wan Matter... He hasn't got the energy anymore to pick out those parts. He's not going to get away from people. He's got the best centre-half, uh, or one of the best centre-halves in world football coming out with the ball, yet he plays Matic in front of him, who kept on stepping in his way, so the only thing that Maguire can do is play to his full-back or play it into Matic. Yeah, what are you going to do? McTominay's injured, right? No, nothing, to do, nothing to do with the personnel. It's a p- case of finding a way to open up the space for Maguire I mean, to come out with the ball. It seems as if like Maguire like, sees this giant hulking Matic in front of him and just, oh, I don't know what to do. Let no. me just run into the back of him. But you, but that's the whole point about coaching. So you have to create avenues to, to allow players to come out with the ball. You have to create avenues to get the ball into the front players. It comes to Maguire and he's looking to, he wants to play into the front players and he can't because Matic is standing. He's, Matic can just step to one side. So when he starts to come out with the ball and close down, then they create a 2v1. So they're not working that out. Uh, I, I don't think they can see where their next pass is, which suggests to me that they're not doing enough work on a, a game plan and strategy and, and uh, uh, phases of play, all that sort of stuff in the training, because it looks to me as though most of the players are playing off the cuff. You know, where they can't does, see they can't see the next like pass. That. There's no combination play in the front areas. There's no combination in midfield. The fullbacks aren't quite sure whether to bend it down the side into the front or go back to the centre halves. There doesn't look to be any de- uh, designated game plan at the moment, and that comes right. down to your coach. Okay, well, what about the guy who could solve problems if he's there and he's being creative and obviously he's injured? Pogba, he gets he continues to get a, a ton of stick now. Mm. Um, there was that thing that Solskjaer said where, you know, he said, like, his people said they were in, mm-hmm. he said he was injured. And then, of course, then the club clarified, no, 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 it wasn't his people. His people said that, but then our people checked him and he is mm-hmm. injured and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I want to ask you, why is, why are people obsessed with the idea that Pogba is trying to angle for a move? He's not going to get a move while he's injured. No. Right? And he's not going to get a move you know, unless he plays well and then persuades because he's going to cost a ton of money. Why can't people wrap their heads around this? That regardless, like, and again, what I'm told by people near him is that Pogba wants to play for a top team. He wants that top team Mm -hmm. to be Manchester United. He wants Manchester United to be the Mm -hmm. team that he thought he was joining and and he wants to be part of the solution, right? Um, But equally, if they're going to be terrible forever, then Mm -hmm. clock is ticking. He might want to go somewhere Mm -hmm. else. But... Um, does this all get resolved when Pogba comes back? Because then you've got a guy who's actually creative and can yeah. do things. And- but again, you don't want Pogba playing off the cuff. When he was at Juventus, I'm no, I know you're not a Antonio Conte fan, but he knew exactly what his role was. He knew where his next pass was. He knew how to create space for Bonucci to come out with the ball. He knew yeah, but he had better players he had, around him, but he still and there a was still coach. That, but there was still there. Were, you've just said it, a better coach, and that's what I see with Manchester. You can have the best players in the world if you haven't got a pattern of play. They're always going to be making decisions off the cuff, and that doesn't always give you fluency and cohesion when you when you're on the ball. And that's the case with Manchester United at the moment. When Pogba gets the ball now when I've seen him play 
He's got all the ability to wriggle out situations, but he has to wriggle out the situations because the next pass isn't an obvious one. So he has to play killer balls all the time. I'll tell you what, Pogba comes back at his best. I'll, I'll bet you steak dinner. If Pogba comes back and plays at his best and is fit, United can finish top four. And he's one of the best players in the world. No question about that. All right. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.